What is up guys? Jolie and I are on vacation in Longboat Key. And in this episode, I want to tell you about the most important thing that I do every time we're on vacation. And maybe it's something you could consider doing when you're on vacation. That is coming up. Stay tuned. So one day, about five years ago on vacation at Sanibel Island, I decided to allot the time to do this one thing every day. And you know, looking back, it's incomparably been the one thing I do on vacation that recharges my battery to go back into the real world. And it's allowed me to come back into reality with an abundant spirit. Upon returning home, I feel a heightened sense of clarity and purpose, more determined, a greater feeling of peace, and a more steady focus. Now that one thing is meditation and the word is misused by culture. The most true definition comes from the Psalms and this is my definition. King David utilized true meditation to deeply contemplate God and how he applies to everything. We'll discuss these three different ways he did it. So now, every vacation like this one, I allot at least a couple of hours every morning to attempt to follow David's three-part model of meditation, along with journaling for clarity and prayer for greater wisdom. Number one, I'll meditate on God's word that's already been hidden or written on my heart and how the principles that come up might apply to current life situations and my future direction. After journaling to better amalgamate these meditations, I'll then pray on them for greater guidance and wisdom. When it comes to the dark thoughts of my mind, like David, I'll meditate on or consider things God's hands have already done, like the things he's already accomplished in my life, the things he's accomplished in the lives of others, and his wondrous works of creation and then different ways he's already shown me love, protection, and care. And number three, I will meditate on the promises God has made to me through his word. Specifically, I'll meditate on the guidance of the Spirit's direction, the peace that only he can provide me, the confidence that comes when I accept his direction, and the hope of a home in heaven for eternity with him. If you have found this video helpful, would you hit the like button? If you'd like to see more Christian content and go out there into the world, please like the video, please subscribe to this channel for more content like this, and it will tell the world that people like this content and they want more of it, and that tells the algorithm to put it in front of more people. Now, because of the power in my personal experience of true meditation, I want to offer you a spiritual challenge. As Joe Lee and I walked the shoreline at Longboat Key, we came across these rocks. And we've been walking for like half an hour, and we've just come across this really rocky area. These rocks that were right outside the water, and at high tide, the waves would crash into these rocks. It was just a beautiful and serene scene. At the end of this video, there will be a link to another video, which is also in the description below. I want to challenge you to watch this video. It is exactly five minutes in length to watch or listen to the ocean waves crash against these rocks and be in meditation the way David would be in meditation in his three-part model and see what it's like to be in true meditation. Recharge your spirit today, my friend, and we'll see you in the next one.